At least 15,000 Americans lost more than $300 million collectively during the four-year scam, according to the feds. Callers from centers in India posed as federal agents to threaten victims with arrest, imprisonment, fines, or deportation if they didn't pay up, according to an 81-page indictment unsealed Thursday. The 61 suspects that were arrested faced charges of conspiracy to commit identity theft, false personation, of an officer of the United States, wire fraud, and money laundering. One of the victims who identified herself only as Christine told the Wall Street Journal that she was warned to pay $6,850 in back taxes or face arrest the following day. Another victim, a retired military serviceman in his 60s who identified himself as Joseph, lost $25,000. The feds ask anyone else who may have fallen victim to the scam to file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission.